American Express Open is empowering business owners. Follow our new mini-series as we pair different small businesses, each with their own experienced branding agency who is also a small business. Art Yarns was born several years ago when Iris Schreier and her husband Elliot decided to make their own line of luxury hand-painted yarns. Art Yarns started because I was writing a book and looking for yarns that I couldn't find available on the market, so I decided to create some of those yarns. They're hand-dyed in a variety of colors. They're sourced from Japan and Italy. The yarns are maintained here in boxes in, in raw white form. We custom dye them to the customer's specifications, and we do have over 25 different yarn qualities. Iris and Elliot are being paired with Dominic and Leslie from Office Lab, a New York City-based branding agency whose task is to rebrand art yarns over an intense two-month period. A brand to me is the essence of a company. It's the face you wear to the world. It's what somebody else is going to buy when they buy your product. They're also buying your identity. The process for building a brand begins with your, your fundamental business objectives. Understanding who the audience is, what the core proposition is. Iris and Elliot from Art Yarns make the trip from White Plains, New York to New York City to visit Dominic and Leslie at Office Lab. Do you guys want to sort of give us even some words that might help describe, you know, in, in any way, you know, just who, who you are? The three words I think we used were um, quality, luxury, and value because we feel that it's really important to get those across somehow, especially to online customers who don't have the opportunity to feel and touch the yarn and a lot of people say to us, oh, we didn't realize that it was this high-end, or we didn't realize that your cashmere feels the way it does. Yeah, you don't want your, your, the first experience somebody has with your actual branding to downsell mm. your product. I'm blown away by the quality of the product itself. I think the branding really downsells it. I, I didn't realize how much was involved in terms of the processes that you guys go through for the, for the branding. I guess we're still sort of uh, not clear on our own what we want out of branding. And so we're looking at you actually to some, some place sure. to tell us what we should be doing branding okay. mm -hmm. yeah. Is there any uh, pushback from your clientele? Are they, you know, do they get the product and say, you know what, it doesn't quite match oh, the yeah. number? Oh, yeah, all the time. All the time. Really? But let's take a look. Here, here's a number, and this is number 153, and 153. here's 153, so look at the difference. Yeah. So the, uh, so, wow. yeah. I really felt very good about their attempts to get into the mindset of our company and really get a good understanding of what our business was all about. It's actually, you know, become very clear what a few small, uh, changes in collateral can do for you guys. Ultimately, I think the deliverables will be a set of standards that, uh, that work for them in a, in a manual format. New tags and an ad campaign that uses a series of image assets that we create. The advertising will make a difference for Art Yarns in that they'll reinforce what is really already there. They're extremely talented. I was pretty much wowed. I think it's very apparent that the uh, Art Yarns needs a, a rebrand. Join us next time when we see if Elliot and Iris are wowed or overwhelmed with Office Lab's concept book. Do Dominic and Leslie really have a strong grasp around the philosophy and culture of yarns and knitting? <laughs>